Dear student, today we are going to start a new topic that is compound. So, what is the definition of compound is the different thing. But what are the compounds around us? Can we find any compound which is around us as an example? Yes, there are so many compounds around us we see in our daily life, so many compounds. Organic compounds, inorganic compounds, so many compounds are there. Like if you talk about the urea, if you talk about urea, urea we, uh, we provide in the fields actually so that we can increase the fertility. So that urea, urea is organic matter, organic compound. So compound only. The formula of urea is NH2CONH2. NH2CONH2. Or same thing we can write CO NH2 two times. Okay, this is a compound example. So, what are the compounds which is around us? Because the chapter name was, is the matter around us pure? Something like that. Okay. So, we will see the examples around us. So, urea is a compound which is around us. Our farmers, they use urea in the field so that they can uh, increase the fertility. Any other example? Yes, water. Water, very important compound, H2O. I hope you know very well the formula of water that is H2O. Okay. One more type of water that is D2O. D2O is known as heavy water. D2O is known as heavy water and H2O is only water. Okay. So, water is also a compound. We have to see that type of example which is around us. Okay. Now, you use any soap, detergent or uh, anything that is compound that may be organic compound or inorganic compound, that is different thing, but they are compound mainly. Milk that is compound, tea that is compound, soap that is compound, mixture of so many compounds actually. Okay. So, what is compound? What is the definition of compound? So, what happens when two or more than two elements, they react together. When two or more than two elements, they react together, they form a third substance, A plus B. A and B both are pure, A plus B react together and they form a third substance which has different property than the A and B, which has different property than the A and B like suppose H2 plus O2, H2 is a gas, O2 is a gas but H2O, okay, this H2O is liquid. So, I am saying that Suppose, I mean, what happens, how to form compound, when two or more than two elements, they react together to form third substance, that substance is called compound and which has different property than the reactants, than the hydrogen and oxygen in water. Okay. Let us see the definition of compound now. Compounds are chemical substances made up of two or more elements that are chemically bonded together in a fixed ratio. When two or more than two elements, they combine together, they react together in a fixed ratio, then compound forms. Then the formed substance is known as compound. Okay? See the example, like H2 and O2. Right? If you balance the equation, then it is uh, two hydrogen, two hydrogen, already balanced, two oxygen, but one oxygen. So, here you make it two. Okay. So, 2 oxygen and 2 to 4, so 2 hydrogen, 4. Now, 2 moles of hydrogen, right, 2 moles of hydrogen and 1 mole of oxygen. So, 2 is to 1. When hydrogen and oxygen combine together, react together in definite ratio and what is that ratio? 2 is to 1, then water forms and that is compound. So, in order to form compound, elements should combine in definite ratio in fixed ratio. I hope you are understanding about the meaning of the ratio. Okay? At first, you have to balance the equation. Once you balance the equation, then you check this, this part and this part. Here is nothing means 1. So, 2, two is to 1. Okay? So, when elements combine together in fixed ratio, then compound forms and that compound has diff different property from the, from the reactants. Let me tell you 
that not necessary that always different sometimes few property will match okay but sometime totally different so this is all about the compound compound has so many types also so let me show you the next slide of compound now in molecular compounds atom binds each other through covalent bond so what is the covalent bond such type of bond which is formed by the sharing of electron such type of bond which is formed by the sharing of electron that is known as covalent bond and that is not here in this in this uh, means in this class so we should not go for the bond okay covalent bond means bond formed by the sharing of electrons dear student let me tell you the point number 1 molecular compounds atom binds each other through covalent bond what does it mean okay you must heard about the chlorine gas cl2 yes or no you should never inhale chlorine gas okay it's poisonous now cl2 we can represent cl2 like cl cl now what happens actually can you see this line what is this see this line is bond actually this is not line this is bond in chemistry it may be single okay sometimes you may see double bond like in o2 if i write o2 so you will see this type of bonding in o2 okay if i write n2 so you will find this type of bonding so sometime you will find single line so that is not line that is bond single bond then here double bond here triple bond so what is the meaning if i write this one bond it means that chlorine and chlorine shared one one electron together both have shared one one electron together okay now what happened this how to understand this is very simple suppose you have one chapati and your friend have one chapati okay so you both have one one chapati and you just kept your one chapati in plate and he also he or she also kept one chapati in the plate and that's it this is your equal equal contribution for one chapati i am not saying that you both will eat some other person can eat that okay so in same way chlorine chlorine this chlorine kept one electron here and this chlorine also contributed one electron so what happens actually to form one bond two electrons are required so if two electron is present then we can form bond so this is the bond formed here so this is how chlorine is formed now in molecular compounds atom binds each other through covalent bond so what is the meaning of that in molecular compounds atom binds each other through covalent bond what does it mean it means that this is the covalent bond why this is covalent bond because this bond is made by the sharing of electron that's why it is covalent bond covalent bond formed by the sharing of electron so yes this is the cl2 in which you can see the covalent bond okay but this is not covalent compound or molecular compound this is covalent bond example so covalent compound is a different thing i will share that okay see if you talk about this compound like hcl so hydrogen also see the contribution of this hcl h one electron on chlorine also one electron bond formed okay so what i want to say is this is molecular compound example cl2 is not compound cl2 is chlorine is element not compound okay compound means two element will mix together then new new substance will form that is compound so hcl is compound but chlorine is not compound chlorine is element okay now in molecular compound this is molecular compound atom binds each other yeah atoms bonded h and cl bonded through covalent bond yes this bond is covalent bond how do you know this is covalent bond because this bond is made by the sharing of electron i hope i cleared the first point okay if you did not understand you can just uh, go back few seconds and again you can see that you will understand point number 2 in salts it is held together with ionic bond what does it mean salt you tell me one salt name there are so many salts one very very important salt and uh, we see in daily life that is nacl of course table salt nacl this is salt what happens actually in salt we can't see this type of bonding 
okay there is different type of bond so i told you covalent bond now ionic bond came in salt it is held together with ionic bond so what is the meaning of ionic bond what happens bond between ion bond between ion that is ionic bond example suppose na plus and cl minus this two ion okay will they attract yes or no yes why because they are opposite nature of charge so if they have opposite nature of charge opposite nature of charge will attract to, to each other na plus and cl minus will attract so nacl will form now here i want to say if you write na cl this is not correct because this symbol means you formed covalent bond but this is not covalent bond this is the ionic bond which forms between ions so in ions ionic bond forms so if na plus and cl minus is forming bond how to represent that bond so that bond you cannot represent like this or like this no you can't ionic bond can't be represented like this ionic bond has no this type of line only attracted that's it na plus cl minus attracted so converted to nacl over nacl nacl has ionic bond bond which is formed between formed by the ions in salt it is held together with ionic bond yes see, this is salt and here ionic bond is present because this bond is between the ions that's why because this bond is between the means this is covalent bond because it is made by the shear of electron so this is covalent bond okay i told you covalent bond and ionic bond both third these are the two types of bond out of which every compound is made up of it's not necessary but under 9 class 9th or under class 10 it is sufficient yes most of the compounds are ionic compound or covalent compound okay so in this way we have completed the compound their types and bonding in the compound okay thank you